Party Action News Jax. A woman run over while sunbathing at a local beach is recovering tonight. Police have been able to track down the hit and run driver. New at 11, Action News Jax. Russell Colburn reports that the man is not being cooperative following an hour long standoff. A witness tells me he's seen that same vehicle, a silver Jeep Cherokee, out here doing loops in the same area. Police tell us he hit that woman where the sand goes down toward the and we have images for you of what the scene looked like earlier when police were here. They said the driver hit this 53-year-old Ohio woman and then took off even after a witness told him he hit someone. Tonight, we've seen several cars entering and leaving the beach. It is legal here to drive out on the sand. Officers say they traced the SUV to a mile away and say it took the driver an hour to respond to them and comply. In the last couple hours, a vacationer told me it's time for some kind of barrier between sunbathers and cars. Laying out on the beach is just a time-honored tradition of coming on vacation and being around a beach. you got to have some kind of, of separation and barrier to prevent accidents from happening. Less than a month ago, Action News Jax told you about the case of Amanda Gonzalez, who police say was injured when she, too, was hit sunbathing on the beach in Nassau County. Her case happened at Peters Point, and now her attorney is calling for a ban to driving on the beach. This has become a controversial topic with people fighting on both sides over this. And in this case, police say they expect to charge the driver who hasn't been identified with leaving the scene of an accident causing injuries. And we are still working to learn an update on that woman's condition. In front of the Russell Colburn, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News.